this is Maria Jingle and welcome to another under $20 meal. Today's under $20 meal, I'm going to show you how to cook and prepare a balanced meal that is called pancit guisado or stir-fried noodle with vegetables, tons of vegetables and chicken. I'm going to show you step by step it's very simple, it's a very simple process and everyone can learn how to cook it. All right, everyone, so as you can see in front of me, it's a big pot and um, actually, I wanna make sure that I have a big pot that holds everything, which is, of course, the noodles, all the vegetables in front of me, chicken breast, and the shrimp. So make sure you have big pots, that way you have room to stir them. Later, I'm gonna show you everything all right okay let's start cooking i am going to show you how to prepare the dried noodles first i use siphon because brand does matter if you would like to try this dish i would suggest to get this noodle because it's better how to prepare the noodle we're gonna soak all of this with water not long just enough that we can separate the noodles. This is what I do, like that. You have to do this before you start cooking because it will be too hard to actually cook them without soaking them. So they're not soft soft, as you can see. They're not soft soft, they're just halfway there. Okay, so that's how you prepare noodle. Okay, let's start. I'm using medium high heat. I have to take the onion. Okay, now we're gonna do our chicken breast. This is about uh, one and a half pounds. All right, and right away, we're gonna add one tablespoon of bouillon powder, chicken bouillon powder. Okay, then I'm gonna put one teaspoon of pepper. Okay. One tablespoon of garlic. Okay. okay, we'll cover this for about a minute. I have covered the uh, chicken. Um, I'll wait for a minute and then I'm gonna stir it. And then we'll follow through with all the vegetables. 
and of course the water. Uh, that's the process of making the broth. Broth is very important to noodle. And actually, you can have the best noodle if your broth is not really good. It will turn out not so good. So broth is very important on, on every noodle. I didn't uh, use everything. I got it from Walmart. Um, I shop, as I said, where you shop also actually uh, varies uh, where you can save. Okay, so uh, I'll show you clothes. I'm going to put a word. There's the chicken. As you can see, I have a lot of carrots, but at this point, I'm only going to put half of the carrots. Why? It's because um, there's two processes of putting the vegetable. The first one is for the broth. So that's what we're going to do. Pepper. This will become a little uh, softer side, but that's okay. In the second part, that would be our, you know, uh, the crunchy part and anything like that. So this is for our broth. We have the chicken and the broth uh, of the uh, vegetables. And this is the secret of the very good uh, broth. This is how you do it. It tastes pretty good. You won't be uh, ashamed to offer it. Okay, now I'm going to add the water. This is a small cabbage. Oyster sauce, four tablespoons of oyster sauce. I will make an adjustment later if I need to. Two, three, four. Dark soy sauce, two tablespoons to start with. Again, this is not a very little uh, quantity of dish, so we get a balance of everything. Now we're going to cover this. I will submerge the uh, cabbage. Okay. While waiting for my broth, I'll have the vegetables and the uh, chicken and the meat. I'm going to prepare my noodles. So this is a pancit canton. It's two different kind of noodles uh, on this dish. Uh, pancit canton and then the mall bean uh, noodle. So they are two different kind of noodles. This one you don't have to sew. This is like this one here. Now about Around about five to, I would say, five to eight minutes or ten minutes or so, um, I have put the first batch of the vegetables. Now I am going to put the second batch of the vegetables in the mixture. We are going to put the rest of the vegetables. This is the second half: carrots, bell peppers. Don't worry, I know it looks like a lot, but believe me, it's not a lot. I think I'm, only, I'm the only one who puts a lot of vegetables in their noodles, and that's just me. And that's how I cook my noodles. 
Okay, let's mix this. This is a nutritious meal. And then we'll cover this for another five minutes. It's about five minutes now. I'm gonna check on our vegetables. This time we are going to put our shrimp. And yes, you can make noodle without any meat too. Just vegetables and the noodles. And it still works out just fine. You can save even uh, more actually. Because it's the uh, meat that's uh, more costly in here. But other than that, it's still a value uh, meal for the entire family. As you can see how the quantity of this so you are really uh, saving a lot. And you can eat it for another day, put it in the fridge, or share it with others. So I'll wait for about two to three minutes, and then we're gonna put our noodle. We are going to add our noodle. We're going to take some of these vegetables. Take some of these vegetables. And a broth, as I said. You can always make extra broth, just in case. We'll add the noodle. I alternate to make sure that they are incorporated very well. Submerge. More noodle, actually, but I'm just trying to put uh, under twenty dollars meal, and this is a lot of noodles already, by the way. So, if you're serving around, I would say fifteen to twenty people or fifteen, this is this will do it. Fifteen to twenty, this will do it. 
Oops. Now lower the heat to the, the slowest heat. We're steaming this. Okay. A little broth that I separated. I'm gonna put that back. Made enough broth. So we're gonna do that. So the noodles is and this is still an uncooked noodle. So we're steaming this under very low heat. We'll keep covering this and stirring this. Cover, stir, cover, stir. That's what we do. After a minute or two, stir. Let's make sure that you're not burning the bottom. See, it's very uh, necessary that you open and stir the bottom. We are cooking the noodle through steaming it. Now we're gonna add the vegetables that I separated. Vegetables that I have separated. I'll add it. Beautiful, right? I'll check the noodle if it's cooked or it's close. That is a delicious noodle. Okay, we'll steam it for another minute and then we'll stir it and then we'll be back. It's not close to done. I would say it will be done in about four minutes. Okay, I'm going to stir it again. It's a minute already. So every minute, you have to check the noodle, making sure that it's not burning underneath. There we go. I love it. There's a lot of vegetables in there. It's good. A lot of noodles and meat. This is a very well balanced of a dish. And we're gonna top this uh, with eggs, hard boiled eggs, and uh, lemon, and a little scallion, and voila. All the steps of what I did to the vegetables. That's uh, actually uh, a technique to attain a uh, very savory. Broth. Okay, we're almost finished. It's delicious and ready. I have tried to uh, gather all the uh, measurements so I can put it underneath uh, under the description box below and let me know if you have tried it, if you like it. This is a stir fry noodle with vegetables and chicken. I just showed you my technique. And do that every time you make stir-fried noodle or pancit pihon, pancit guisado. That's a very good technique for your broth. And believe me, it does make a lot of difference on the taste. That's it for our noodles. Last mix. Going to plate. So I'm going to plate family style. I'm gonna use this. And I will show you how to plate it. How you serve the noodle. Okay.
I'm not gonna put everything here because we need a lot of noodles. I'm gonna show it to you guys closely. There's still tons of uh, pancit right here. Here we go. Now I'm going to dress it with egg, hard boiled egg. So that was our pancit canton bihon guisado with vegetables and chicken. Stir fried noodles with vegetables and chicken. I hope you like the video and if you do, please don't forget to like and share it to everyone. If you like this kind of video where you can get tips and ideas on how to make delicious meals, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every week if I have upload new videos. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for watching Under $20 Meals. I'll see you guys next week. So good. Mm. All right, everyone. I will finish my meal. We have succeeded another dish again. I'll see you guys in another dish next week. Thank you guys for watching. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay.